All right, welcome back to Long Island's number one pro wrestling broadcast, Monty DeFaro, only seen here out of Indie Music Studio, straight out of Ron Conkama, Long Island. Or maybe the world's number one pro wrestling broadcast. Maybe. Maybe. Because Jim Beam said so, because, baby. Maybe because. Uh, how about definitively? So, Want to welcome everybody for joining us. Uh, Jimmy and I were talking about next week's guest, uh, okay. which isn't necessarily official yet, but it's kind of official official. Oh, all right. Um, we're going to have Mr. X, who Mr. X. has a spirit box. Wow. And he speaks to... The other Past side? The other side. Wow. And you know, I was laughing about it, and then Jimmy started telling me <laughs> stuff he was listening to, and he what, was couple, like yeah. freaking me out, and I'm like, yo, yeah. I'm not doing this. You Forget it. You, now you, I'm not going to do you it. You are kind of playing with uh, some... Because uh, I thought it would be kind of funny, and then also I'm like, mm, oh, this isn't too funny I'm not anymore. so sure that it's going to be funny, but uh, it like, could share, be. Share with people out there like one of the things you heard. like, uh, uh, Well, there was a... Th to the John Lennon thing. Yeah, well, there was a fella who a couple of years ago had started a YouTube channel, like can't remember his name though but uh he was uh, he had a spirit box and he spoke to jesus which was oh my lord was that it oh my lord uh w which was quite quite fascinating but he spoke to lenin and he asked him about you know how did it can you describe what it felt like to be to be shot and of course with a spirit box well, me, if you're not like, familiar ask, with is it is it like stat yeah like what is it if like? you're not familiar with it there's a lot of static but you can pick up words clearly if there's a strong so it's like connection a TV, like a if, uhf type of thing something like that yes this yes. is really creepy it's dude. very creepy this but when but I'm when he sure asked him this. about you know <laughs> i'm not sure i do either when he asked john howard you know felt what the moment he was shot there was the static and then Clear words came out, my back, which is where he was shot, warm, which is probably the blood that was, you know, oh my God. Anyway, this is, uh, so you let me know if uh, we're not necessarily going to do this next week. I'm a little creeped out. I want to mind everybody, <laughs> last week we had yeah. the great Todd Gordon on. Yes. Todd with his new book, Todd yeah. is God, which mm -hmm. is the authorized story on how I created Extreme Championship Wrestling, written by both Todd Gordon and Sean Oliver. Fantastic. Um, have you taken that to the beach yet, or is I that have on the not. docket? I will. Um, I was doing some other stuff this weekend, so uh, okay. I think I told you. I went to Southampton, where right. we were eating in a restaurant, me and my wife, and mm -hmm. we saw Kelsey Grammer. Kelsey Grammer. You know, okay. You, you remember Kelsey Grammer? Uh, you want to refresh me? Uh, it's been a long life. Frazier. Okay. You know. I gotcha. I wasn't a big fan of Frazier, but obviously Frazier was a big time show. And then he was also on, uh, what do you call it? The, the bar show with Ted Danson. That's Cheers. How Frazier, Cheers, right. That's right. How that Frazier was the spinoff. Gotcha. But anyway, I'm I said to my wife, let's go Frazier. get a picture with him. And she's like, I don't want to bother him. And I'm like, dude. How, what, what is the next time you're going to run into that's him? That's what I'm saying. He's a star. Right. Uh, you know, I, I, she felt bad. He's got to be it. used to it by she, now. She, she, well, everybody else was taking pictures. Right. So I'm like, dude. Don't wait like, for the spirit box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you. Good comment. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So then we were all the yeah. way in Southampton. It was an art show over there. So we were looking at art. And mm -hmm. like all this art was like $5,000. Wow. And it was pretty cool. Okay. And then I was like, you know what? Let's go see Sticks at the Jones Beach, right? Very so I figured it would be sold out. Dennis the young, the young, yeah. okay. But you had Tommy Shore. Tommy and Shore the was there, okay. Very and good. you know, again, when I sat down, you know, tickets thirty bucks. Fantastic. Half empty. Okay. Didn't have a lot of people around me. You know how I am about. Sounds that, nice. Right? It, was, it was nice. Sounds intimate. But I'm like, you know, this is going to be awful because you know I've seen mm, foreigners, sixty, I, seven years old. And oh, I've really? Seen, you know, terrible, right? I've seen the oh, stones. Wow. Like, okay. You know, you know, you know. Understand. The deal. And look, just like not everybody else, could be Iron Maiden. That's right. Age that's is right. Age. That's right. But I got to tell you, right? Friggin' Tommy Shaw. Oh, what a voice, man! I was so Never happy ending. to hear this. So happy to hear that. Tommy Never Shaw ending. was great. Still is. Tonight we have a special show. Ask Monty to fire anything. Where yes. we've got a yes. list of fans who go on. Um, All right. All right. And then um, I'm not ready for my personal spirit box edition, but maybe eventually after I'm gone, you can have the spirit box, and I, don't, I can. I don't really want to freak you out through static. I really don't want to talk to your spirit box, dude. <laughs> yeah. um, Farrell, where are you? Keep talking, uh, Farrell. I got to answer. Farrell, one of the where guests. are you in the afterlife? <laughs> Pyramids. <laughs> Pyramids. What on earth? Who are you talking to right now? Is this one, one of, of our future? Oh, it's one of our future guests for the for the evening, huh? Yes. Hey, Abe, should I be nervous? Ask DeFaro anything? Ask Monty anything? I mean, this is this that's kind of uh, wide open to anything. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think, uh, I think you should just be chill. You know, it's, it's just casual. be chill. It's casual, you know. And that's what I want. I want to remind anybody. All right, ask all right, Abe. us I'll, I'll give it a shot. We right. will answer anything. That's the whole idea. It was a, last time we did this over. It has to be over almost two years. Can ago, we ask right? Abe anything while we're at it? It's ask Monty to follow oh. everything, not ask the producer anything. Yeah. Oh, you're right. I should read the details. <laughs> the exact, you're, you're right. When was the last time we did this? Pay attention. What was that? When was the last time we I did I don't know. This? Was it a year or two ago? It has to be a while And they ago. were all wonderful except for that one ass wipe. All right. In the news, yeah. Jimmy. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Most recently, 2023, flight uh, pilots have been found high while flying planes. Why are you picking this subject Plane right crashes now? in the U.S. increased by 32%. Your... And he shows an exploding <laughs> plane! I'm supposed <laughs> to be on a plane in a couple of hours! What are you doing? Hold you on, are I'm such reading. a... Yeah, I see that. Yeah, the data released by the National Transportation Safety Board, Civil Aviation Spirit Box. Here I come. This is terrible. <laughs> planes <laughs> You're planes jerk. have jerk. Plane, plane fatalities have rose from three hundred and forty-seven <laughs> in two thousand and twenty-two to four hundred and fifty-eight in two thousand and twenty-three. Oh, I feel so much better now. The increase means that on an average, there's at least one aviation death per day. You're a jerk. <laughs> and my favorite team is the Jets. I'm screwed. <laughs> This is awful. And I just had a terrible dream, too. Why would you? And you're laughing. You're not going to laugh. You're not going to laugh if anything happens to your precious pharaoh. Uh, don't you? Don't you'll you? You'll be fine, dude. I better be yeah. fine. If not, you're going to be having me on Spirit Box next week. <laughs> and, and it'll be like, and you, I can see you, too, like, you know, playing it off all serious. Because after all, it's serious if the pharaoh, you know, evaporates. Right. So basically, you'd be like, you know, pharaoh, can you tell us what your last words were? And here it comes. <laughs> Fucking A! No, you're no, a jerk. No, no, this is awful. No, stop this. laughing, Abe. It's not funny. Hold on. You see, that was that was what? a simple line that they went. This would be the reality of it. Farrell, what were your last words? <laughs> this music sucks in the speaker. I can't sucked. take it. I hate when they put bad music on an airplane, and he's like mad at me for th for pointing out that the music on that airplane sucked and it was super loud. If you're gonna blast me out, give me Zeppelin. Why are you playing that shit for? Nothing like sitting on a plane having to listen to Zeppelin. Why That's not? what I want to hear on a plane. You don't want to hear a whole lot of love while you potentially could no. crash? No. I want soothing. Soothing. Oh, they weren't giving music. us that. They were giving us... We can, we can, we can, we they we, were not. They were giving us stopping. garbage. Oh garbage. I mean, what are they going to give us? Sounds of silence? That, anyway, that would think creep about me it. Out. There's only one fatality a day. What are the odds of all the people that fly that you would be the one? The one. <laughs> what, what are the chances? Very, very slim. Knowing slick. me? Very slim. Pretty good. <laughs> Think about it, dude. It's very slim, so you got nothing to worry about. You're right. Why am I worried? There's actually approximately 100,000 people who fly per day, I think. Okay. That's what I mean. Oh, no, no, no. 100,000 flights per day. Oh. So times so that you're times really like 100. looking at millions of people. So you're talking millions of people, you would have I'm to be the, the one. I'm the one. <laughs> <laughs> this is awful. Father of a 12-year-old detained while it. taking out the trash says he's not accepting a police apology. A father of a 12-year-old black boy who was briefly detained by police while taking out the trash at his home in Lansing, Michigan. What? Home of uh, Magic Johnson, by the way. Okay. I said Monday Johnson. he cannot bring himself to accept the apology from the city's police department. I will never accept an apology. Why My son he? did not deserve to be treated yeah, that way. They and they treated him. What? No way, no shape, no form. Michael yeah. Bernard told CNN. Good for Justice him. for my son. Yeah. That's all I want. Nothing else. Why are they bothering the guy taking out the trash? What was the issue? I mean, I'm not getting enough background here. I mean, was he wanted for something? Or they just harassed him because he's a poor black guy taking out the trash. That's a lot well, of shit. I'm going to answer your question. Bernard, who had been washing his ditches in the kitchen, became concerned that his son, Toshan Bernard, okay. didn't come back from taking out the trash. He went outside mm -hmm. to check on his son, okay. only to find him in handcuffs. What? Toshan later told his father that he was walking back to his apartment after placing the trash in a dumpster. The police vehicle approached him, huh. and, and Toshan said the officer... To Sean said, an officer got out of the vehicle and unholstered his gun. Why? The boy then was put in handcuffs. His father said, there place. before he placed in the car. And the and the and this this poor kid had no previous back. You know, wasn't wanted for anything. Or no, what is this profiling crap? That's crap. That sounds like crap to me. I don't care if he was purple.
That's crap. That's true. Let the fucking kid take the garbage out. What are you bothering him for? We got a lot of problems in this. Uh, yeah, now, we dude. do. You know it's what? It's getting if, worse and worse. If and worse. that's what really truly happened, and the kid had no previous background, and they weren't looking for him specifically, you you unholstering because he's taking out the. Hey, put that banana peel down. So real quick before oh we my get God, into who's, the... who's visiting us, Jimmy, you are going on a trip to Florida. You want to fill the fans, our, our family. I don't want to say fans. That's a wor terrible word to use. Tell the people what you got going on, brother. It is my honor and privilege that I will be going to visit Karen McDaniel out in Panama City Beach, Panama. Beautiful. I'm the, very the excited. The Karen McDaniel who was the on the Karen show McDaniel. a few weeks ago. Yes. Former wife or ex, I don't want to say ex-wife, widowed. Widowed of, of Wahoo. Wahoo McDaniel. Yep. You and Karen seem to have built a uh, Karen's a, fantastic a brief, person. But very yeah. Uh, yeah. strong relationship. Consider myself very fortunate. Excellent. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And you know what? It has to be important for you to get on a plane. I'm dude. scared shitless about this flying thing, especially after my good old buddy just showed an exploding plane. You. So we all want to wish Jimmy good luck out there while Thank he's uh, going to Florida. I hope Thank you have you. a good time. Take this time to enjoy the beautiful weather. Yes. Right? I was born in Florida. Our friend, yeah. Did you know that? Our friend Mike Mantor used to say, oh. I come in a house and, uh, you know, Life no is one's good. better than me, right? Life, Life is, is good. It's beautiful out there. Coming in the studio when you get back, seven September 15th, the great Manny Fernandez returns to Long Island's number one pro wrestling Looking broadcast. Forward. Absolutely. September 17th. Two days later, mm -hmm. Barry's back. The great Barry Windham returns, mm -hmm. and we will have Barry in studio where Barry will uh, hopefully play with Wisteria Hall, oh, rap his crap, I, right? That would be just amazing. I, I don't know if I could see Barry, like, you know, breaking out in tune, though. I think I think he can. I would love it I if he did. I think he can. I would love it if he did. September 29th, PN News comes from Europe. That's quite the uh, trip. We have a dedication to his best friend, Mike yeah. Mantor. Which I still and again we call him Mike Mantor. We this. know it's Mike Halick, but I like to call him Mike he's, Mantor. Yeah, he's Mantor. He was the man. He's September 29th, same date, seven forty-five. We got Duke the Dumpster Drosel. I'm glad he's coming on. He's been wanting to come on for a long time. It's now. still in the wings for awesome. that same day. We probably will have Doink the Clown in that's, studio that's for cool. a return. I like Ray. And then a new appearance of TL. Hopper. Tell me something more about T.L. Hopper, please. What can you tell me? I do know that T.L. Hopper, back in the day when we used to read the wrestling mags, was Dirty White Boy. I oh, always wow. thought there Dirty we go. White Boy okay. was a very cool <laughs> wrestling name. Yeah, it's, right? quite, it's quite the uh, eye catcher in the mag. That's for sure. November 11th, Paul London comes in studio. Very good. Very good. And more than likely, Ken Shamrock Duh. will also be in studio. Yeah, look at Abe. Every time you say that name, he pumps his fist. He's not like, a, yeah. not official, I'd like to thank the band that sings a theme song for Monty and the Farrell and Jimmy Farrell, along with his partner, Bart Griggs. Make mm -hmm. up the band, Wisteria Hall. Wisteria Hall sings, sings such great songs as In My Dreams, This Life, Not Far Behind, Here Comes the Rain. You can find their music on the Wisteria Hall YouTube page, mm -hmm. Spotify, iTunes, and, mm -hmm. well, not iTunes, but Apple Music. Music and right. reverb. Real, real fast, Go ahead. if I may, can I thank you for encouraging me and Karen to speak together in the first place? I appreciate that very well, much. Also, let me get this in fast. Right. And I want to thank Bart for, you know, he's going to be getting up in the middle of the night to take me uh, to where I got to go so I can get to where I need we're, to go. We're all, we're all family. So if anyone yeah. knows Karen mm -hmm. McDaniel, I was not a big NWA guy. Mm -hmm. Karen McDaniel, I did see on a few other podcasts years ago. Um, oh, that guy who has no teeth, right? Well, whatever. But, you know. That guy was awful. My thought process was, hey. Karen was great. He I, I was terrible. I wasn't a uh, yeah. fan. I, I I found her very intelligent when I did listen. But yes, she not is. knock on Wahoo. I just wasn't a fan, and okay. I just thought when other p people have certain people on, right. um, we try not to copy and compare. No, you want to keep. But I understand. The more and more I uh, started getting into Wahoo's legacy, oh, it's quite the legacy. Like, this guy was pretty impressive. She sure I was. I reached out to Miss McDaniel, and to my surprise, she was a uh, pretty, uh, pretty amazing human being she is and she uh, is certainly we that. continued to make contact with each other mm -hmm. after the show um she's quite the lady and yes somewhere along the line she met mr jimmy farrow on a personal basis and uh yeah let's see where this one goes it's my honor um you are watching long island's number one pro wrestler no matter all no Monty and Afaro, you catch us on the Monty and Afaro YouTube page and Monty and Afaro Facebook Live page. Here's us on iHeartRadio, Spotify, Anchor. Catch us on the Monty and Afaro Twitch TV page. 
If you're lucky enough to live in New York, the contracts are in. I have signed them. We are still? Not yet. <clears throat> Channel okay. 115, as of right now, every Tuesday at 9.30 p.m. and okay. Saturday at 11.30 a.m. Okay. and Channel okay. 20 and Tuesday at 7 p.m. Where over 150,000 people watch us weekly. We are their number one show. Part of the problem Monty and Nefaro have with New York Cable, if I may be fair. Okay. There have been other shows on these two channels that have been around for a very long oh, time. Oh, decades. One yeah. being uh, Big Bus Fetty. I'm going to make a little roll call when we come out of commercial. What's up? Um, there's a lot of shows that have been on a lot longer on New York. We're, we're new to New York Cable, about three years, I would say. That's fair. Um, so... Being that we're watched by so many people, and thank God for the family we have out there and you the family we have in New York and Intuitive, and we'll talk about that in a second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are honored, but uh, my point of discretion was I did not want to be on Saturdays. I want to be on Friday nights. I agree. At 11 o'clock on Channel oh, 20. Oh, do I agree. And I'm okay with the slots that we have on Tuesday and Wednesday. They work fine well, fair for us. Enough. Fair enough. Um, so my bone of contention was that Friday show. So right. let's see how that goes. Sure. And if you love us so much, get that free out app out there, the Intuitive Network. It's a free. You just download the app on there. Are documentaries, videos, music videos. They have now regular weekly television shows, man. And this stuff is good. It's taking off. This is the start of another Netflix. And who's anchoring it? It is the world's number one pro wrestling broadcast, Monty and Nefaro. And how do you spell that show, Jimmy? Wow, grammar. Spelling I N two I T I V Intuitive. Get into it. Beautiful. <laughs> we'll be right back with part two of Ask Monty and the Pharaoh with our first guest. I'm not going to announce it. Yeah, I don't even right? get to know the guest. This uh, is unbelievable. It's a surprise to the Pharaoh, but we're looking forward. Oh, God. We will see you quickly. Shortly. We shall return. Sir? Ah. Manscaped? Uh-huh. Uh, you know, have you tried the new equipment that's been sent? I'm afraid because it says Weed Whacker. <laughs> I'm scared. Maven, Manscaped. What are you thinking about Love Manscaped, it. dude? Love, Love it. it. What do you use it for? Necessity. What, what don't I use it for? Put it this way. <laughs> the only hair what? I have on my entire body is these eyebrows yeah. that oh. you see. These wow. caterpillars racing to the middle of my nose. That's it. <laughs> that is it. That's all, that's all I have. And that's all I want. That's the so pick. Manscaped is a must. We were talking before the show. There's nothing worse than just hair. Yeah. Right? Hair on a woman, hair on a man. It's just bad. Absolutely. And it's the one thing that the older I get, it starts growing more in unwanted areas. Absolutely. I hate it. I'm going to ask you a question. Uh oh Just going to go out there. Oh, boy. Go for it. You're doing a deed. Yes. <laughs> Again, I don't want you to have to admit this because we... As men, we try not to admit this, but if you're going to go uh, do the deed on a woman, I know would you rather have her be hairless or a little hair, racing stripe, or <laughs> racing stripe. full retro bush? <laughs> racing well, stripe. Retro bush is out. Yes, thank you. Retro bush is out. Yeah. Um, I don't mind a small, well-manicured landing strip. <laughs> Every now and then, if it's completely, and I'm talking like baby's ass bald, Mm. Then I, I start, where is that pedophilia line that yeah. I'm, that I'm, I don't, I don't wow. want to wander into that. That's very interesting. Like that. I never thought about wow. that. You're a smart dude. Holy yeah. shit. So if the landing strip is clean enough for the plane to go in smoothly, you're cool with that. If the landing strip is, has, like I said, well manicured, yeah. you yeah. can see both sides. It's not like blinking lights on both sides of that. I just don't, I don't want, <laughs> you know, I don't want the shrubbery going off into yeah. unwanted areas on that gotcha. as well. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, look but what you found. Ooh, I got to be all honest gotcha. though. Hey, the, ah. the, the older I get though, I don't. I think I don't think I can be as. Uh, <laughs> I as, as, found it. Have, I found have it. Have you ever gone down there and like just like you, she slowly brings down the underwear? Then what is? 
Retro. Just Absolutely. Retro. You're like, whoa. Wow. Yeah, like I'm 46. Like it pops out? Do you like walk out or what do you do? No, I, try, I muster through. I muster up the <laughs> courage to get through. He's a trooper. <laughs> yeah. He's a trooper. <laughs> Got to give him an yeah, not, all, not all heroes wear capes. Yeah, I, there you no, go. I hear you. Uh, <laughs> there listen, you can't, I couldn't, I couldn't Super say Bush. I couldn't say it. Well, <laughs> If you have the same beliefs as Maven does, Manscaped could help you. Absolutely. The weed whacker. Absolutely. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that I may have to, like, you know, go in a room, close the door, and hang out with the weed whacker for a little while. Yeah, I think you're a retro guy, aren't you? I like 70s adult films, if that's what you're getting at. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, well, with Ron that, we're going to take a quick Batman. commercial break, and we'll be back with this wrestling icon, Maven. We will see you in a drop kick second. A uh -oh. drop kick. You need a body shop? You need engine repair? Auto Excellence, Collision Specialist, 631-261-6420. That's 631-261-6420. Auto Excellence. All right, welcome back to Long Island's number one pro wrestling broadcast, Monty DeFaro, only seen here out of Indie Music TV. Our first guest, it's Mr. Boston. Is that Phil? Phil, how are you, buddy? Hey! Phil DeCessere. Very nice. I don't look like the Pharaoh here. Hey, guys. I, you do? Is your hair getting long? Is your hair getting long? Am I seeing things? Oh, wow. There we go. It is long, long. I'm trying Very to become nice. you, Jimmy. Holy Very cow, nice. Phil. You did look like oh, yeah. me a little bit when you threw those shades and a cap on. I can see that. <laughs> I'm going to be you for Halloween, man. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's, that's a compliment. That's Thank you, You Phil. ain't kidding. Wow. So Phil, I'm happy you look to hear, Jimmy. I'm ha I'm happy to hear about uh, a potential love connection or at least a good friend connection that you got going. So oh, thank you, Phil. Awesome, kinda, man. Wait a minute, hold on, Phil. He's kind of asking you a question right now, brother. No, he's not. He, he was said, making a statement. <laughs> Is it a Don't love you connection you're the or one a friend that's connection? Crying. <laughs> yeah. You can pull a Chuck Lorre and say we'll be back in two and two if you want. <laughs> mm, very interesting. Uh, do I have to answer? Yes, this is Ask Monty the Pharaoh anything. Phil, to be very clear, the Pharaoh is smitten. Oh, I'm so happy. Wow. Big time. Big time. Oh, wow. Oh, my Lord. Good. Yeah. And you don't like flying, right? I'm scared to death. Yeah, but I'm not thrilled with it. You got to right? risk it to get the biscuit. Yeah. Are you like B.A. Baracus? They have to inject you with something and then you pass out. Nothing ever works on me. They try to put no. me out for surgeries. I wake up, socks are missing. Not a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. True story. Oh, man. I'm, I'm thrilled to be here, guys, first thrilled of all. Thrilled to have you. you. Know? Thrilled to yeah, have you. This is so cool. I want to give a shout out. You know, what does Tony Soprano call it? This this little thing of ours. This is mm. just, it's, it's a wonderful thing on Thursday nights. It really Thank is. You. And I love seeing the names and talking to everybody every week. And, uh, very like-minded people, you know. Some of the yeah. best people are, are just are just drawn to you guys, and uh, you know. And I'm so happy you guys picked up the ball after, of course, Boston casting. You know, I mean, um, Boston wrestling. Uh, you know, sadly uh, yeah. ended. So, you know, uh, what what a, what a great oasis in this in this desert of life sometimes. And uh, <laughs> yeah, just totally thrilled, man. Totally thrilled. And, and a shout girl. out to JA, to Maria, to sure. to RJ, to Jason, to to loose, to big, to just so many, to, to cousin Matthew. And I mean, I just can go on and on. Little Patty, just, we've got just Jason, just got a great crew of people here. So for sure. This is awesome. Now I just want to clarify, are you wearing sleepy guy? Is that sleepy Proudly, guy? man. <laughs> Proudly. I couldn't think of any other shirt to wear. <clears throat> did, this puts did me, you, you know what? When I, when I'm a little amped up and I can't get the sleep, I just put the shirt on. <laughs> it's unbelievable. And then it's you magic. Know, I, I turned to Mike after Mike showed me the shirt, and I said, let me get this straight. All these years we've been working to get over with the fans and the, and the family that we're so fortunate to have now that watches us every week. And this guy takes a nap on the couch, and he's over <laughs> like Goldberg. What is going on here? He didn't yeah, even have to he try. He doesn't have to say one word. <laughs> I took, sleepy guy. It was, a, it was a moment of genius by Mr. Mike to throw this guy on a shirt. Absolutely. You think we should have hey, him I in? Ask concert. him questions? Like, you know, what do you think? You should have him on. Absolutely. Let's get <laughs> to know this cat, you know? He's a, he's a man of mystery. <laughs> well, he doesn't say much. He sleep? No, he doesn't. <laughs> I've never even heard his voice. I'd be <laughs> curious to, to, to hear, <laughs> you know? He was so, cool. What do you think about next week having a spirit box on? Ooh. Love it, okay? 
it's yeah. spooky as can be. I've it seen is. some videos before of some very famous people coming through. Yeah. Um, it's very convincing. I found it to be very convincing. Agreed. I also believe in mediumship. I know a great guy whom I've been friends with for about 20 years. He's awesome. He's also a good friend of Damien Sandow, of all people. Oh, and uh, he's just okay. incredible. And I, I would say in the future, he's, he's a wrestling fan as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, he might make a great guest to do actual readings for, for people if they were interested in it. So mm -hmm. if you're at all ever interested, I could uh, I can hook you up. No, absolutely. We're going to probably yeah. contact you on that. Wild. Yeah. Well, Phil, let me ask you this. Being a lifelong wrestling fan, how does it feel? Because, you, you know, you're, you're on the inside now. I see you talking to these guys all the time and uh you yeah. know you've, you've, you've broke bread with them numerous yep. amounts what's that like for you it's a thrill okay because these guys are larger than life in fact you know and people especially people like the berserker john nord whom i do recommend you guys speak to sometime too um sure gotta dig a little deep with him he's a, he's an interesting cat um but just very cool. I'm in awe, man. You know, I'm in total awe when I'm when I'm with these guys. But they're just so down earth and normal. And you know, we don't always like you guys. We don't always talk about wrestling. We talk about life. We talk about you know politics. We talk about you know current things. And I, I love to hear their perspective on things too because we finally gotten to a point where the real world is is crazier than the world of pro wrestling. So. You know, I think being pro wrestling fans has kind of prepared us for this this yeah, real world that we're point. in now. And yeah. you know, up is down, down is up. Yeah. The bad guys are as they're portrayed as bad guys are really the good guys, and the good guys they try to present to us are really the bad guys. So correct. You know, and I think we as wrestling fans, uh, you know, it, we love it. We're entertained by being worked, but the nice thing is we know when we're being worked. So yeah. I, I think we have an advantage over a lot of people. You know, you're people right. who aren't fans of the business. I think we can discern a lot more. Yeah. And ultimately, uh, you know, they talk about politicking and pro wrestling. I see so much of, of pro wrestling in politics. It's just Correct. unbelievable. And, he nailed it. you know, he nailed and it. the promoter is the bad guy like usual. Right. Of course. You no. Know? Of course. Well said, Phil. Yeah. yeah. You know, Phil, we first met you, obviously, with the whole Boston wrestling connection. Mm. Losing Dan and that show, how has that affected you personally? I'll tell you, man, Sunday nights, I always looked forward to going down to that studio, whether we were just sitting around doing a watch along, whether it was sitting in on interviews, just talking to Dan and or Mr. Cena or Charlie Wilson or, you know, any of the uh, any of the uh, the guys. I, I definitely miss that part. The funny thing is, about three months before Dan's death, he, I and Mr. Cena were talking about life after death and really discussing, you know, our thoughts and talking about people who've had near-death experiences and things like that. And I guess I, I have a little comfort in knowing that Dan believed in something beyond this. And uh, I know Mr. Cena does too. And uh, so, um, yeah, it's there's a big hole there. There's a big hole there. But, but again, you guys, I think, have really picked the ball up in that sense. I know some of the fans who are part of the base there have, have jumped over to or have actually been dual citizens with you mm -hmm. guys and with mm -hmm. us before and uh so i think that's wonderful so that's helped i think ease the blow a lot just having you guys around you know particularly because you're in the northeast which is great too and and you know you get you get so much uh, um, attention from all over the country it's it's amazing too uh so you know you guys while you're regional i think you got a, a nice global reach and and i think that's it's a testament to your personalities uh your approach to interviewing and just just having that appeal to to so many people so you know, I look forward to it, man. And, and again, I'm thrilled. I've been looking forward to this for, for a few weeks now or for however long it's been. So I got a new computer, too. It's <laughs> nice. Phil, but, how yeah. uncomfortable was it for you when we were at war with Dan? I mean, you clearly love Dan and we've come to love you. So this must yeah. have been kind of awkward, right? It, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd say it was. I'd say it was. Um such is the business though i mean you know this is the business is based on conflict and um you know we all derive some entertainment from conflict you know i mean we, we all we all like the a little drama definitely and uh i always felt that there's room for a you know more than one um company to exist just just like right now we've got aew wwe i don't mm -hmm. think either are adversely affecting the other i think it's great for the business yeah. and i think in this world it's the 
apologetic about it. So right. it might have been a little too little too little too late, but uh, you know, Dan had a good heart ultimately, and uh, mm-hmm. if, uh, maybe had a word with him. Have you uh, spoken to Mr. Cena, uh, Senior, uh, recently? I text him like Father's Day and holidays. I'll send a text mm-hmm. or two back, you know. Uh, I saw him outside of an AEW show in Worcester last year, so we chatted for a few minutes there. And uh, my friend Charlie bumped into him. Charlie, who worked with us at Boston Wrestling, bumped into him at um, Kowloon's, where I think Jake the Snake Roberts was doing, a, believe it or not, a stand-up comedy show. So Charlie sometimes bumps into Mr. Cena, too. What was Jake doing? By all Just, accounts, he was doing well. In fact, when I saw him last, he had dropped a few pounds, so he was looking pretty good. Okay, stand-up comedy. What was Jake doing? Just being himself, or uh... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I can't imagine <laughs> that, huh? Jake, you know, in his promos, he wasn't one of these Gaga guys, one of Not these really. comedy guys. He was, yeah. he was dead serious all the time. So, right. yeah, that'd be an interesting thing to see. I would, I would definitely. Think so. Phil, I got to tell you one thing that about you is you keep yourself in great shape. When you were a younger guy, you were in great shape, and you still keep yourself in great shape. What are you doing to take care of yourself? Diet, exercise. And, Mike, uh, you at, you, show the audience your uh, pythons. I want to see thing. the Phil pythons. Where are they? There we go. Look at this. This guy's <laughs> huge. He's jacked. <laughs> He's a beast. He's jacked. The That's my leg the right there. Pythons, man. How I'm many? Ready for AEW. Wow. I'm not big enough for WWE, but <laughs> what do you do, <laughs> Mike? Dude, I'm not. I'm not the same guy anymore, on, man. man. Couple heart about? surgeries, Come a heart on, attack. Man. I just, you know. I put on a lot of weight lately, so I got to get back on a diet. Um, he's big. Yeah, he's big. But, 265, uh, right? Yeah, 265, 270. And when I went for my surgery, I was down to 230. And by the time mm. I was back to work, I was like yeah. 212. Yeah. Wow. So I, you know, within a short time, I put on a lot of weight. But, you know, I just got to watch it. But I'm not yeah. heavy lifting anymore. I'm just, right. you know, I'm just trying to, trying to survive, Phil. Trying to survive yeah. and. Doing some heavy lifting and running, and I suggest you do some, after every meal, man, get out and walk. Even if it's for 10 minutes, it's going to make an incredible effect on your on your blood glucose, on your blood sugar levels. It, yeah. it, you know, a 10-minute walk after a meal can do incredible things to stabilize blood sugar, to up your metabolism. You know, it's the little things that incrementally add up that keep you fit and healthy. So, you know, keep that in mind. Without a doubt, brother. All right, Phil, we're going to move on to the next guest. Thank you. I got to tell you, you are one of the most intelligent people I've ever met. And, Absolutely. And I'm glad that Jimmy and I get, got to meet you and consider yeah. you a friend. And yeah. uh, you're just an incredible human being, man. And right I, I want to say, I want to say another yeah. thing about Phil that's important. And it's any time people are in need, whether it was St. Jude or someone needed a donation, first guy that comes across, Phil. I mean, yeah. this is a guy that doesn't just talk the talk. He walks the walk. And, you know, you're a pretty special human being, man. And I consider well, myself lucky that we met you and we're friends with you. It, I, lo- I love you guys very much. And, uh, yeah, someday whenever I'm down in Long Island, I'll look you all up. Please. Sounds Come good, Come down, man. Phil. I'd love to see you. And in Jimmy, person. take it easy on the McDonald's, okay? What? <laughs> I, like yeah. I was going to go like to McDonald's. Burger King after this. What are you okay. talking about? No onion rings? No onion rings? Get a no cup of water rings. instead of the soda? Have the grilled chicken, have the water, have the, the spring grilled, water. Why, why am I going to Burger King then for grilled chicken? <laughs> uh, it defeats the whole world. Phil, you are the greatest, man. Thank you so God much. God bless you, Phil. Jimmy and Mike. Thank Peace. you. Love you too, brother. Thank you. He's awesome, man. I love Phil. I've always loved Phil. Is I our always next guest in? Loved his she's comments. in, right? Yes, she's back on. All right. All right, who we got in? Who's our next guest? Who do we got? One moment. One moment? Never heard of them. Who's Who's one moment? A moment in time. All right, guys. Who's our next guest? Who do we got? As, Abe? As Abe spins the knobs. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> Microphone? We have Cindy Mays. What? Abe? Send, send Abe? What? 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 Is there a problem? Who? All right. Put her on. She's on. She's up there right now. Hi, Cindy. How are you? Good. How are you guys? All right. Good. Thank you for joining Long Island's number one pro wrestling broadcast. Well, thank you for having me. It's good to hear from you guys. You're welcome. So what's going on, um, Cindy? 
Do we say Cindy or Cindy? How do we pronounce that? It is Cindy with an E. <laughs> okay. Cindy okay. with an E. Very good. Yeah. So what do you got for us, Cindy with an E? Oh. Where'd you go? Hold on. I think I accidentally lost it. Hold on one second. You lost her. Hold you on. lost her. We lost it? Yeah, hold on one second. That was my fault. I'm going to send her a link right now. Hold on. All right. How about them SummerSlam results? <laughs> you know? Well, fill the dead air. How about... Yeah, no have problem, you seen, man. Have you seen Sunny lately? Something happened with her uh, appeal? Or uh, court case or uh, whatever her deal uh, yeah. is? What, what's going on? Well, uh, that wasn't, it wasn't just that. It was what? like what she do she's now? unrecognizable. What does she look like? She, doesn't, she looks like... Foggy instead of sunny? <laughs> no, not foggy. Cloudy? She looks Shitty? Like, no. <laughs> she looks like... I'm running out of bees. She looks like Saturn. She looks like Perry Saturn? No. The Saturn, the planet. The planets? She's got rings around her face? Or Uranus. Which is the biggest planet watch out in the, for the Watch out for the Klingons around Uranus. What is the biggest planet in the world? Jupiter. In the universe. Jupiter. She looks like Jupiter. She's that big. She's looking big, boy. Well, then they're, they're serving her a lot of good food in jail. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's our tax dollars at work. You have some nerve getting sunny all fat. What is that all about? What happened in there? Well, she's clearly not exercising, and they had to sell her small. I mean, you expect her to do? Run around in circles? Like Carly. I'm sunny. I guess the question you know, is, we buddy, did fill some like, time here. Go the, ahead. The, the, the question is, <laughs> this at one point was the hottest woman on the planet. So basically, she's ready for the spirit box, is what you're saying. One more taco when it's you over. You in the spirit box. What? I, I, I thought I was making sense. Hey. You in the spirit box. Yeah. How we do with that guest? I sent her another link. I don't know. Look at Abe. He's got his hands going like Joe Besser from, right, the, from the studio. And APB, American Protection Bureau, voted number one best on Long Island for all your security needs. Call 631-390-9050. That's 631-390-9050. APB. You need a body shop? You need engine repair? Auto Excellence, Collision Specialist, 631-261-6420. That's 631-261-6420. Auto Excellence. Yes. I'm going to fucking kill you. Dude, you should have known better. What are you doing? What do you mean? I, I, I didn't, I didn't realize. I thought, I thought that was... Next guest. Okay. Sorry. What the fuck? Is she on? Yes, she's on. I'm uh, cutting to her right now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, you did not. And there you did not. she oh, is. <laughs> Miss I'm America. Here. Am I blushing yet? I'm what are you doing? The great carrot, McDaniel. Oh. How are you? <laughs> Hi there. I'm very good, thank you. <laughs> I'm very good, thank you. You look very lovely tonight, Karen. How are you, hon? Thank you. I'm doing very well. Thank you. I'm very nervous so right now. So how are you're, you guys? You're, you're a jerk, Mike. How anyway, are we? How are we? Um, <laughs> we're doing Monty Nef Ask Monty Nefaro anything, and we got him with a guest that we weren't expecting. And, <laughs> yeah, it, was, you, and, and it wasn't... Uh, uh, yes, you know. were. Don't lie. Hey, you oh, go! You! My you! God. Thank you, Karen. on you, brother. I Honest as you. always. That's what I love. Are about you trying her. to say that Monty is a liar? Is that what oh. you're saying? Well, he did just say it. <laughs> yep. Yes. The answer wow. is yes. You, you dog. Why could you? Why'd you do this? And Abe I had, and did I've it. I've had to keep quiet. I've had to keep quiet. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was a comfortable previous yeah, I, call. Yeah, I can keep a secret, you know. It's, yeah, that's without a doubt. No surprise. There you go. Surprise. God, so so beautiful. Anyway. Listen, Karen. Smith. Yeah. <laughs> the family out there, it's been revealed that Jimmy is coming to see you, and you guys are going to get to hang out a little bit. Um, do you want to share with the fans, like, what <laughs> – Jimmy oh. Farrow is like in real life. She's shooting on me. What is this? Oh. What are you talking about? What, go ahead. What you, you should know he's hot. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wow. There we go. There go. Oh, She's my hot. God. Look at her. I just, I, hey, I just want to know if he packed enough sunscreen. 
Yeah, um, I'm going to need That's my more. question. Did you pack enough sunscreen? I'm going to need a lot more, I'm sure. Are you gonna are you gonna make him <laughs> get a, a we're going, going outside? Are you gonna make him get a haircut when he's down no, there? Set him straight. No. Set him straight. I, I, there's nobody in my family has short hair. There you <laughs> go. I fit right in over there. That's now, right. You Karen, fit right in perfect. There is Thank a bone you. of contention between you and me, and you feel that I'm kind of mean to Jimmy. <laughs> See, kind Do of. Do you feel that's I, still the case? An understatement. <laughs> Well, you you kind of put him on the spot, but you know I think he can take it. Did <laughs> just now? Yeah, I can. Of course, I can take it. I've been used to him for decades. I can take more than the average bear. That's right. Now I hope while you're I down there, you're going to take some pictures and post them on Facebook. At least I can see what's going on. What? Watch yes, after my I boy, will. right? I'm I'm going to take him out to our beautiful state park. Oh, I'm going to take him over to 30A, some really beautiful um, area over there. I'm going to make sure he gets around. All right, Excellent. Good. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, we're going to take spend... him shark fishing. We're going to take him shark fishing nice. one night. Fishing. Will there be a yeah, chance? I already told. I, hey, listen, I already set the set it up. I told Zach, look, this guy, I like him. You'll like him. He's coming down here. And, well, I'll just go ahead and tell you this little story. When Zach was a teenager, Storm was little, but he, you know, he coached him too. Um, Zach said, I'll show you how to get rid of those flowers. You know, I can get rid of them. If I and show um, up. if someone came oh, to God. pick me up for a date, Zach one time was throwing furniture around in the yard. <laughs> and the man said, it looks like you got a lot going on here, ma'am. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Oh, boy. So Zach said, I told him, Zach said, am I going to need to throw some furniture around? Oh. I said, no, you better not on this one. Well, mm. do you do you think Zach could possibly feed Jimmy to the sharks? Is that that you know? In the, in the no, I, now no, hold on a no, second. No, 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 we're not gonna let that happen. We're not oh, gonna let that now. happen. I'm not much when of a Storm meal anyway. Came up, when Zach left the house and Storm came up, he told him, he "said I I'll show you how to run those mother." Oh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, how so I get, I think it was a challenge, but they're grown men now, so you know I think they'd be happy if somebody else was around for mom. You know what I mean? Cameron, not to make myself more nervous, but of course, Zach being uh, Wahoo's son, uh, how tall and how big is Zach nowadays? Zach's about, uh, uh, Zach's 6'1". He, Storm was 6'3", at 17. Me. Zach's 6'1", and about 220, 230. He's, you know, he's he's right in that six range. One, two, he's going to feed me to the Sharks. That's no, he's gonna, not. He's not? <laughs> No, oh, how much of a meal, I'm telling you. Dude, you're you're going to be oh, fish wait. food. He should feed you to the shark. The shark wouldn't eat for weeks. <laughs> what the hell are wow. you talking about? I don't, that's hurtful. Yeah, that was a little mean. Karen, I mean, that I, was a hurtful comment I, he just know, said to me, and you're not even defending me. For one mean for he me, me, I get fat. 10 from him. So it's like, Who? You know. I didn't call you fat. No, no I did. did. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no, I didn't call you fat. I just said no. you'd be a healthy meal for a shark. What's what kind the problem? Of, what kind of wine are you drinking there, Karen? Not the good fucking wine you were supposed to send. Yeah, that's right. Where's my wine? Now that you remind me, thank you. It's Jimmy. coming. I've been very busy. He's I was going to send okay. it down with your pal here, but. I want to uh, drink it before I get there. That's not a good idea. Probably so. Yeah, probably. Def definitively. I, I, will, I will tell you, I am very, very excited for you guys. Oh hanging out with each other Can't i got I, I i shared with many people when we first met you or i first met you you're certainly uh a really special human being and i you know and you know at this well you can't blame anybody but yourself you're the one who set it up yeah i know well but but like i said this is my boy right here so it's like i feel good i feel good he might be my boy what you talking about <laughs> <laughs> wow what I, I, Nice. <laughs> wow. I'm ready to get on the plane right now. I'll see you later, Mike. Good night, everybody. Later. By the, by the way, Karen, uh, at the beginning of the show, I was informing Jimmy now that plane uh, casualties you, have you, risen by you, 32%. Did you see what he did? He showed a picture of a plane exploding. <laughs> this guy's no, an a-hole. No, I didn't see that. Yeah. I'm sorry, oh. Mr. Don't scare him to death. It's Why too late. See, that's what I mean. He did it. <laughs> Pick on him. I've got to protect him. <laughs> Listen, only 98% of people that get on planes die. He's you're, got a 2% you're, chance. You're a jerk. There you go. Okay. I love you anyway, but you're a jerk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
just unbelievable. I'm still going on that damn plane. I don't care what the you odds are. You better believe he is. You gotta risk it. <laughs> to get the hey, That's hey, it. Monty, he ain't, he ain't stupid. No, <laughs> that, nope, that's nope. one thing I gotta say. Nope. He ain't stupid. Hell <laughs> no. Nope. Unbelievable. Yeah. I can't wait. Oh, I we're gonna have wait. a good time. We are. We'll have just a good time. please take a lot of pictures. I'm gonna post them all over. You know our pages okay. and stuff. If you're okay, okay with that, God, by the way. Mike, do you see what's happening here? My hands I'm a, are sweating I mean, at the okay mere sight. All right, just as long yeah. as you're okay with it. Oh. So yeah. we're towards the end of the show. I got one more guest. I want to thank you for the surprise visit. You're mm. fantastic. I'm so glad that can't believe this. You guys are going to spend some time in Florida. I'm excited. Uh, I'm losing my mind. I'm I can't excited. Wait. Hey, I have a toast. Go ahead. A toast. I have a toast to my Jimmy. Oh, oh my oh, Jimmy! May the, may, the best of, may the best of your past be the worst of your free future, my friend. There you go. Amen. You go. Oh my lord. Karen McDaniel. See you. Love you. See we'll you talk soon, to you soon. Honey. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. Do we have a last guest? Dude, on? my hands are sweating. Um, this is you're unbelievable. Start trying to join. I'm not sure if he's in. Who's um, that? One to go. Try talking. One to go, guys. One to go. The great Karen McDaniel. Don't Jimmy. put up the plane. No, 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 what are you doing? Wrong. I see a picture <laughs> of the effing plane again. <laughs> all right, first of all, this better not be who it. Don't you dare. They got it. Don't they you dare. They're in. It, uh, she said she I'm got not it. speaking there to any. There she is. I'm not speaking to any estranged family. We're not doing this. All right, you ready? Yeah, we're ready. Uh, I don't right. think I am. Go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, the long-awaited, not return, but appearance of jimmy farrow's long lost you're a, sister you're a jerk man jenny farrow what from california doing? jenny how are you baby jenny are you there what do you know she's got nothing to her, say her just like the last supposed 10 to be years. off right what her camera's supposed to be off right yeah okay why is the camera off i don't know i i have her audio on i'm not here you know anything. Abe, you're really messing with me tonight what are you doing can you hear the audio no, I can't, I can't hear anything. I'm not seeing Good. any levels either. It sounds like she's got nothing to I say. Saw, I saw like her she's try got to nothing join. to say for what? the last 10 I years. I saw her try to join. I saw something pop up and then go away. Um, Don't call her. Don't help I'm not her. not calling her. There's family history here, and I'm not interested in getting involved in it. So good. Oh, so oh, oh, here, we go, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Maybe All right. I am. Maybe I should be nice. Yes, she's here. It's the your sister, Jenny. <laughs> hey, Jenny. <laughs> Jenny from the block. Hi, Jenny. Hi. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, sis. How are you? How's so things? I want to know why you haven't returned my calls. It's been 20 years. I've been calling you and writing you, and you blocked me on Facebook. What were you calling? 1-800-Flowers? I mean, what, what <laughs> number were you dialing? I'm like, that hard to find? This idiot puts my number on the Facebook page. I, I'm easy enough to find. Dude, show some respect to, to your sister, will you? I do show to respect you. to my sister. I haven't thrown a single F-bomb. Well, converse. I don't right. want to interrupt. All right, Jenny, I'm really sorry that there's been like this giant cavern between us. You found me now. How are you? I'm good, Jenny. How are you? I'm fine. What have you been up to? You know what I've been up to. I'm on TV every week. What have you been up to? Well, I sent you those box of chocolates, and you box never said chocolates? thank you. You never wrote me back. You never what? answered my phone calls. Why would I? Aunt Judy is really upset with you. Who? The whole family is distraught. Aunt Julie? Julie years. Farrell's upset with me? Well, why does everybody in our family start with a J? With a J? Did you ever wonder about that? I mean, Uncle John is mad. I mean, yeah. this is... John, Judy, Jimmy, they're all mad. I mean, even our Spanish cousins, Javi with a J, he's mad. I, I'm so confused. So what, what can well, we what can we do to make this better? I can get on a plane and go see Karen, but you can't get on a plane and go see your own sister. Oof. Well, you don't look Oof. like Karen. And you're my wow. sister. Why would I run to see my sister when I can go see Karen? It's a good point, Jenny. You know well, what, you though? That's not me, right. That's not talk. right. You're right. You're right, Jenny. I'm, I'm a jerk. Hey! Do you, start, do you, jerk starts with a J. Do you think that the listeners should know the big family secret? What's that? That we're all adopted and we were made in a <laughs> lab? <laughs> what are we talking to here? What's the big family secret, Jenny? Let me in on it. Everyone knows I'm an asshole, so you're going to have to do better than that. What do we got? I'm not going to say it live. We'll wait oh. till I come on the show and then I'll say it. You're coming on the show? 
Of course. There's not enough room in this in this room for the egos. What are you talking about? I can well, barely fit through the door my, on my own. Well, since you don't get on a plane to come see me, uh -oh. I'm going to get on a plane and come see nervous. you. Now it's not wow. funny anymore. Uh, it's just not I'm wow. coming to New York, baby, so get ready. My sister sounds famous, by the way. <laughs> well, Jenny, <laughs> I want to thank you for joining us, and we will be seeing you shortly live in studio oh and jenny on long island no, jenny just one thing though don't be surprised if i bring karen with me looking forward i'm packing my bags i'm on my <laughs> way why are you them? laughing so much what's so funny over there mr i screwed up all night the what great you? jenny farrow I'm thank not you for joining all right, us i'll clap <laughs> wow that was wow, my sister that was your what sister what the hell dude how dude. did you find her I told you she's been they tried out. to export her out of the country. I, how did you find her? Dude, That's unbelievable. I got to tell you, Abe, do you think that is unbelievable? Do you think when Jenny's in studio may be our most watched episode? This is ridiculous. I think if we build it up enough, I think we need to find out that family secret. I meet. Mean, what is the family secret? <laughs> now that Jenny? Abe's guaranteed that he's getting a sock from the Pharaoh in the mug, I mean, like you know, I, Abe, do you realize what you're playing with here? <laughs> I'm bipolar and unmedicated. You're getting me angry. I mean, it's like, what's happening? You already know what happens when I get angry. I, I, you I laugh at me. Don't get and then you don't go, get Hulk you, mad. Then, I get yeah, it. You, I then get you're it. like, all right, he's a, he's a, he's out of his mind. So why are you doing this? What? Were you bored or something? I mean, was there no documentaries on that week when you decided to do this? This is a documentary in itself. This is a document. Does Dark Side know about this? Because this is this is this is this has been one crazy show, dude. Yeah. It starts you... off with Phil, who's this incredible guy. Yeah. Then we get yeah. our boy I, Andrew I, I, gets yeah, ripped. That to was shreds. A, that was a great job there. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Abe, Mr. Producer. Thanks for that one. That was great. Thanks for making me feel totally then, uncomfortable. Then we have Mr. We had Daniel, the, the greatest here. woman ever born. Yes. Okay. You go and you're going to Florida. I cannot wait. And ended with your sister. Yeah, I was all the way up here, and you're like, "Here's your sister, boo." Your sister's I'm bringing coming. Karen. Man. Karen's gonna protect me. I'm not dealing with this, dude. I gotta tell you, what? If you if you're not watching our show every week, you don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> this, is, this is not exactly the, a boring the, program. Jenny Farrow coming to the studio. Is Unbelievable. This is insane. She sounds like she's really famous, though. I, she could be. I, I'm wondering about this one. Your, now. Si your sister's famous. She might. Are you trying to say it's she someone might acting be. as your sister? Is no, it's not someone thing? acting as my sister. But I don't underestimate the powers of my sister. So she she who she knows? Could be what like she, under some pseudo name. She could be. I mean. Do you really think Maybe my, it's my, you really Miley think it Cyrus. says Farrell on Maybe. my birth certificate? I mean, what the <laughs> hell are we talking here? <laughs> to, of course, she's probably under a Suedo pseudo name. <laughs> Suedo. I never understood the spelling on that. Why does it start with a P anyway? Uh, oh, God, this is unbelievable. What is my cousin Javi going to think? Javi with a J. <laughs> I think there'll be problems. This is, this is bad. It's been Wait a, a minute. Show. What? Matthew Holland says Jimmy bang Jenny. That's not right. That's not right. Listen, Matt. That's not right. That ain't right. Matt. That's not it's right. It's bad enough that I remember you for telling me what day I'm going to die on. And by the way, Matt. You're wrong, because uh, you, uh, you saw the exploding plane. That's tomorrow, Nostradamus. So if that happens, it's been nice knowing you, Matt. Right, but no, it. I didn't mess uh, around I, with my sister, you sick puppy. R.J. Hudson oh, goes, no. Matthew, what? Yeah, ex Right! Yeah, I'll tell you what, though, Matt. <laughs> hey, show, show the audience again. Folks, I just want to tell you one thing, and I agree with what Mantar says. You only die once, but you get to live every day. Uh, I I, on a serious note. I mean, uh, why are you showing this? <laughs> I want to thank you. Everybody. Wait a minute. What's my plane? Jet blue with a J? I mean, oh, boy, this is awful. I will say this. Jenny kid about was this. right, though. You're flying to Florida, and you don't even go see your sister in California. Bro. Well, I have priorities, and Karen is priority number one, one wow. A, and one B. Wow. So there. With that, yeah. I want to thank everybody for joining us on a wonderful Especially Thursday. Especially Karen. Next week, uh, yeah. we will have the... Uh, Who are we having? The Spirit Box. <laughs> you think you'll be back in time for I the Spirit Box? I think I'll be part of the Spirit Box. You'll be asking me questions. No, seriously. Because that plane doesn't look so... you think you'll be back? That's going to be tough. I'm, I'm shooting for it. Dude, I, I, we scheduled... Karen, I scheduled this all around. All right, perfect. All right. Getting good. to the show, getting on the airplane, coming back. So getting, we had, getting we had, to the we show. had some ups and downs today. You had, you know, you had I, great Karen McDaniel. And then yes. you had the realization that your sister is back in your life. 
You've been watching Monty and the Pharaoh, and until next week, you're a jerk. Starts with a J. Later. See you, Karen, coming. <laughs> <laughs>